My name is Dr. Shannon Shea. I have a PhD in Applied Behavior Analysis. I'm also a board certified and licensed behavior analyst. And I'm the Director of Clinical Services at FinFin in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I wanted to introduce to you something called habit reversal, which is a technique that we're going to use to stop touching our faces to prevent the transmission of COVID, coronavirus, the flu, uh, really all those nasty things that you don't want to catch. A lot of doctors are saying that you catch them by touching your face frequently throughout the day. So habit reversal has been around since the 1970s and it's been used successfully to decrease tics in individuals with Tourette's disorder, to decrease compulsive hair pulling, skin picking, it's worked to um, decrease cigarette smoking, all kinds of things. Also uh, stuttering or filling uh, public speaking with ums or likes or that kind of thing where people get very nervous and just go, uh, 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 uh. Um, I say um a lot, but it doesn't really bother me. But I could do habit reversal if I wanted to stop. So uh, it's been around for a long time. It's very effective. It consists of a few components. It's very easy. The first one is awareness training. And the second one is competing responses. And then after you do the initial training, you might need some boosters a few weeks later to remind yourself um, to be aware of it, but it's pretty easy and we'll get into all of that later. I just wanted to give you a small overview of what we're going through and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay, now we're on to response description and detection and the actual awareness training. So what the response description is, is you describing in as much detail as you possibly can what it feels like when you get the urge to touch your face. Um, so for me, a lot of times I get the urge to touch my eyes because I feel like there's an itch in the corner of my eyes and I want to just like lift my hand to it because I know it'll feel so much better if I can just like get my finger in there. Um, and when I want to touch my nose, usually I'll have like some sensation on the inside of my nose that makes me want to like squish it so it kind of goes away. Um, I don't know, it's very, very satisfying. And then when I touch my mouth most often, I bite my lip, it's a bad habit of mine, and um, I'll like touch like if there's dead skin or something on my lip or at the corner of my mouth, I'll touch there a lot. Um, so you want to describe this as much as you can to your partner or your you know, therapist. Um, if you're alone, write it down or at least say it out loud. Um, and then I'm going to show you, this is the model of what we're trying to eliminate or reduce, right? So, and we're calling it face touching, and the definition of face touching for these purposes are anytime you make physical contact between either your right or your left hand on or within two inches of your mouth, nose, or eyes. So what you do not want to do is touch your eyes like this, or like this, or like this, or rub your eyes. You don't want to do this with your nose, or this, or any of this, right? None of that stuff. And then with your mouth, you wouldn't want to be doing this, or like biting your nail, or moving your lips around, or rubbing the corners. You don't want to do anything like that. So that's what we're not doing. So now that you know uh, exactly what we're trying to eliminate, we can work on being very aware of when you are doing it, because the key to stopping a habit is to know when you're doing it at all, right? And the hard part about reducing a behavior like this is you don't realize you're doing it. It's kind of like something you do unconsciously while you're watching TV or working or driving or whatever. All right. So then you would go into response uh, detection. So if you have a um, partner with you, they would sit across from you. Um, and if you're alone, you would do this in a mirror, and it should work fine in a mirror. Um, but you're going to do each behavior that we're going to try to eliminate, so touching your eyes, your nose, or your mouth, ten times. And each time you touch, you're going to say touching. And that's it. So I'll show you. Um, and if you have someone with you, having them count how many t where you are out of ten times is um, nice, so it's not uh, confusing things for you. But if you don't have a partner with you, you can keep a little... Uh, just a pen and paper and make tally marks so that you know you get up to 10 or count on the fingers on your other hand. But it would look like this. Touching, touching, touching. And notice when I'm doing this, I'm putting my hand all the way back down. Touching, 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 touching. 
I think that's about 10. I can't reach my tally marks from where I backed up to. Um, so that would be the eyes. And then we would do the same thing for the nose. So touching, 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 touching. I notice I'm doing the whole area when I'm practicing this. If you do it just in the one place over and over all 10 times, it may not, um, you may not be aware of the touching in general. You want it to be the whole area that you're increasing awareness of. So it's called generalization. We want to make sure that it, you know, gets around to the whole area that's necessary. And then the mouth, again, 10 times with your hand going all the way down each time. So you're doing the whole behavior. So touching, 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 touching. I think that was 10. If it was give or take one, again, I apologize. I can't keep the tally marks while I'm making the video. All right, now I can put my glasses back on so I can see. It's much better. Okay, so now you're going to be very aware anytime you touch your face. And at this part, if you're sitting in a mirror or standing in front of a mirror, you can move away from the mirror. You don't need it anymore. Now we're going to do what's called competing response training. So if you can only do one part, the awareness training is the part to do. Because that by itself should decrease how many times you engage in the behavior throughout the day, which I believe is roughly, um, I want to say 23 times an hour. Um, so. Competing response training will make it even more likely that you're not going to touch your face, that you're going to stop this habit because you're going to do something else instead. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to fold my hands, which I think is pretty easy. Um, if you prefer putting your hands in your lap or crossing your arms or doing that, it can be whatever behavior you want, but just something that uses both your hands. So you're going to almost touch your eyes, nose, and mouth but then engage in the competing response immediately um, about 15 times each. So I won't do all 15 because I won't be able to keep track, um, but it looks like this. I'll do five. So one, two, three, four, five. Notice I am not actually touching my face in this. I'm almost engaging the behavior and then redirecting it to folding my hands. So you do the same for your nose. for your mouth. And again, I just did five each. You should do 15 each in reality for this to be effective. Okay, so you've done the awareness training, you've done competing response training. How do you know that this worked, right? Uh, the way to tell is to collect data. Um, so the average number of times people touch their face is 23 times an hour. The best thing to compare data with is yourself because you may or may not be average. You may touch your face way more than that or way less. Um, so if you can do a baseline and collect data before you do any of this training, that's the, the best way to do it. Um, but if you can't, you still want to collect data after to see if you need a booster training or not. So for before or after, data collection. You do it the same way. Uh, I think the easiest way probably is to use your laptop or most people will use their cell phones. And you could put it like on the coffee table pointing at you while you're sitting on the couch watching TV or sitting at your desk working. Um, somewhere indiscreet where you won't notice you're being recorded, where you can see your face because that's what you need to count. So it has to show your entire face. So just start recording, set an alarm for an hour. Excuse me. Um, and then once the hour is up, go about half an hour into the recording and take a 15 minute sample. So set a timer for 15 minutes and then just watch yourself and make a tally mark every time you see yourself touching your face. If you do it more than twice in that 15 minutes, then you might need a booster training um, because twice would be about a 75% reduction from the standard for everyone doing it about 23 times 
times per hour. Um, and then, so that would be something you do as a baseline just to see how many times you touch your face. So you'd have a 15 minute baseline before, and then you would take the same kind of video with the same setup and then uh, watch 15 minutes of it after, but not the first 15, because it's still gonna be very much on your mind that you're recording yourself. So like the middle or the end of the video, like minutes 31 through, I can't do math. Oh my goodness, 46 um, would be a good way to do this. And then um, if you notice that, again, you're over two touches in the 15 minutes, it's time to do the awareness training again. Uh, especially the response detection. So I hope this helps. I hope everyone stays healthy. It's an easy, quick way to reduce a habit, and it works very well for a lot of things. So, so everyone stay healthy. Wash your hands a lot. This doesn't replace washing your hands at all, and uh, good luck.